hello and welcome to the Geek Club. And uh, here you are, sitting in front of your 486 66 megahertz. You've been a power user of Windows for many years. Many decades at this point. But you fancy something fresh. You fancy the look of these new fancy schmancy 95 and XP operating systems. But you don't want those hugging your resources. So what can you do? Well, it turns out there is a way that you can disguise Windows 3.1 as either Windows 95 and Windows XP. Problem solved. Let's go have a look. Right, so we're uh, onto a serious note and uh, here I am with the 486-66 MHz and Windows 3.1 obviously booted up. So, what have we got? Well, let's first of all look at Windows 95. Um, I couldn't believe it when somebody left a comment on my prior video where we completely rebuild the software on this. There's a link up there to that if you want to watch that. Uh, he said that you can disguise Windows 3.1 as Windows 95 using a program easily da uh, downloadable off the internet and transferable on floppy called Chimera 2. So if we fire that up, there we go, 2002, and ta-da, here we are. Just move the program manager out of the way. Now, when you're using this, you are going to have to keep the, the program manager open. Try and close program manager. Yeah, you're exiting Windows. So you are going to have to keep it open, but it can just live down there. Uh, apart from that, as you can see, the Windows 95 desktop and the Windows 95 toolbar. Uh, everything else is Windows 95, apart from it says Calmira 2 up the side, which is fair enough. So, yes, you've got your programs. Obviously, these are all Windows 3.1 programs, because Windows 95 programs are not going to work here. So, the media player, as you can see, is Windows 3.1. It does not update uh, your programs. You're not going to get them on one floppy, which is what this fits on. It's just a reskin of the program. Uh, media Player, Notepad, all the usual Windows 3.1 stuff. You've got the games, Minesweep and Solitaire. Uh, all the stuff that you would find in normal Windows 3.1. But, to be honest, more easily accessible using this. What this doesn't give you, settings, if we go to settings. Obviously, all the controls behind this are exactly the same as Windows 3.1 so therefore you're not going to be able to control the colors of the taskbar or the other windows etc the other good thing it comes with is the Calmira Explorer which is updated to Windows 95 standard which is nice you even get a right hand button yep even get a right hand button to allow you to do stuff like that. So there we go. You can disguise Windows 3.1 as Windows 95. Got the desktop, search bar, notepad, all the usual stuff. You just can't change the color of the test bar, etc. Because that's not a feature of Windows 3.1, but that is fair enough. So what happens when you've had enough of this program? Well, you go away. In the time on a tradition, you go to start, shut down. The only difference is, this time, you've got exit windows, restart windows, reboot, and quit Calmira, which will lend you back into normal Windows 3.1. Now, what happens if Windows 95 is not update enough for you, and you want it to look like the extremely powerful Windows XP, because you want to be the, running the latest operating system? sort of. Well, we got that covered too. You got Calmira XP. Which you can see is slightly later, 2004. Uh, you will have to up get... Oh, don't close that. Don't close that. You will have to have uh, the system running on 64,000 colours to get these looking anywhere decent. I tried this on 256 and it just didn't work. And there you go, you've got your XP toolbar. Uh, FNAS is the same because it's Windows 3.1. Uh, 
doesn't change a thing everything looks the same it's just a reskin there you go favorite documents settings here uh, you've got the Windows XP search so look here we go just takes a second because this one has well it's not the Windows XP it's the Calmira search which is still it's like 95 Windows 95 standard and much better than you get on Windows 3.1 so if uh, you want to run Windows 3.1 but you want a much better look to it then these are viable if you still want to run Windows 3.1 in the modern era mm -hmm. so shut down you've got reboot restart windows and exit windows so you can just restart windows yeah windows 3.1 sounds but i'm sure you can probably change that to the xp ones if you want this is all fitting on one floppy so don't think the sounds from when xp are gonna fit on one floppy so there you go uh that's the little program that was suggested to me a little bit of fun uh, if you know any more Windows or DOS programs that are a little bit quirky or interesting, then uh, please leave them in the comments below. Other than that, uh, you can join us on Twitter, join our Facebook group, which is quite popular. We'll support the, the channel through Patreon if you wish. Other than that, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little loop, a little bit of quirkiness. Thank you all very much. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. <laughs>